thing uh, I would like to uh, remind something regarding Zoom usage. If Zoom volume too low, check your system volume. If you have any technical problems regarding you cannot hear me or other, other thing, please log out and log back in. And also webinar is being recorded and a link will be shared with you, okay? And the link uh, will be sent to your email account you use for registration. Also, you can submit questions anytime, okay, in English using question and answer section. I already answered some of the questions before starting this session, okay? And today I'm gonna uh, review some part of the uh, Google Classroom. Let's go back to Google Classroom. Yeah, this is going to be your account. And when you sign in, you will be able to see the Google app apps on the right corner, okay? Please click on that one and then scroll down and you'll be able to see cl Google Classroom icon, okay? Or other uh, way, type classroom.google.com, okay? You'll be headed to the same place. I have already created one uh, classroom in the first session. I would like to create the second se session in a quick manner, okay? In order to create a class, click on the create class, okay, after clicking on the uh, plus sign. And you need to give the class name, let's say pet 102, section two, subject uh, English language, arts, and room number one, two, three, okay? This is going to be my second class. I'm going. I'm going to teach, okay? And you'll be able to see your class on your dashboard. Okay. This is going to be your class and you are going to share this class code with your students in order to join your class. If you click on the display, you'll be able to see and you can copy the link and you can send your email to your students with sharing that link. And in order to uh, join your class, your student should use that kind of uh, class code, okay? You can change your team using these uh, options. Also, you can upload any files related to JPEG and GIF type, and then that um, this is going to be your specific picture for your class. And as, as I mentioned before, there are four tabs on the top of the page, stream, classwork, people, and grades. Stream is going to be place to communicate with your uh, students, and classwork is going to be your materials and assignments. And people, if you click on here, you'll be able to see who is going to be, uh, who are uh, attending your class, like teacher and so on. Also, you, you will be able to at, uh, add any principal, vice principal, or any superior department head as a teacher. Also, in order to add your students into your classroom, you need to use invite students icon over here. And even though you invited your students, if your students do not want to join your class, you cannot do anything, okay? And you can uh, encourage your students and you are collaborating with uh, parents in order to have your students uh, join your classroom. And in order to invite your students, you can type the student name. You, most probably you have a list, so let's type Sandra and also Joy one of my two students over here, not here, uh, Joy, not Joy, John. Okay, then if you click on here, these students will get your invitation regarding joining your classroom, okay? 
you have already invited them, but you need to wait your students to join your classroom. This is going to be how to uh, invite your students, or also you can use email, okay, sending email uh, technique and including your class code, and then your students will be able to see your invitation on their site, okay? Let's check students' site for then for one of my students uh, here, John. And as you can see, I've created that uh, class recently, and I sent invitation to John to join my class. They are supposed to click on join button, okay, in order to join your classroom. This is going to be how to have your student in your classroom. The other way, let's check the Sandra, and then it's going to be re repeating something again, okay? And as you can see, Sandra got the join invitation over here. Instead of using that one, let me get uh, going to stream. Let me get the Google class code, okay? And then as a student, click on here, join class and then paste it. And then she will be able to join your classroom as you can see. This is the student perspective. And in this session, I'm gonna work on classwork tab, okay, today. And I will show how to assign assignment, how to upload some documents, how to use some kind of uh, Google documents, including sheets and Word as well. Let me go back. This is going to be my teacher site, okay? And I have already teacher site, this is for, this is for new course. So if you click on here, you can go directly to your class, or if you click on the three horizontal lines on the left corner, you will be able to see all classes you are teaching, okay? This class, the first class I have already created, so I want to go there, and you will be able to see my course syllabus and app announcement I have already done in the first session. And also you will be able to see your class uh, students uh, comment if possible, okay? And if you go there, the first thing actually for the your classroom, you need to create the topics, okay? This is going to be a weekly topic you can use and this is going to be your organization for your class. Whatever works, it depends on you, okay? So instead of using material, for example, you can change the place of materials over here, just drag and drop, and you can change the location of the topic, okay? If you do not want. For example, I have already created a week of April 13. Let's create another topic. It is going to be week of April 20, okay? So in order to create that kind of topic for your classroom, go to topic after clicking on the create, and it's going to be week of April 20, okay? Or you can type anything related to your course uh, content, okay? This is going to be kind of your, uh, your uh, organization, for your classroom. So as you can see, the new one is going to be up. So you may change something. For example, if you want to have your course levels seen at the beginning of the page, you may want to just, when you are here, just drag and drop and you may make, you might try to change the organization of your class, as you can see. So, or you may change, the recent week should be appearing on the top of the page. It depends on your, you know, preference, okay? When you create that kind of uh, week topic, <clears throat> as I told before, everything 
is being saved in your class drive folder, okay? You don't need to worry about, uh, about saving your class work, okay? It's automatically uh, done by Google Classroom. Don't worry about it. If you click on here, you will be able to see your, as you can see, we are right now, page 101, first section, and you will be able to see all documents here, okay? If you click on here, let me go back. And in order to uh, access your drive, you can also click on app, Google app, and you will be able to see drive icon on the right corner, okay? You may, it may change on your page, but you can find it over there, okay? Or you can type drive.google.com, and then you'll be able to see your drive as well. And when you click on here, you will be able to see your drive. Since this is educational purpose, there is no limit. So don't worry about the size of the pictures or files. Don't worry about that. And you will be able to see the folder title classroom over there. If you click on that folder, you will be able to see all classroom you have already created for your students, okay? Peta one, pet one, two, something like that, okay? And you may change or you may use some of the uh, files if you want. Anyway, let me close it down. And this is going to have to create your assignment as well. I'm gonna show how to use Google Cloud Calendar and Google Meet and how to share Google uh, Meet uh, uh, link with your students, or you may want to use Zoom for live uh, teleconferencing purpose, and you can share the link of the Zoom as well. And if you click on here, create button, you will be able to see several options over there. Assignment, quiz assignment, question, material, and reuse post. And I will show quiz assignment in later uh, session, but I would like to show these three options today. I already showed the material, but I would like to uh, show again. The first thing is going to be question, okay? You may share a question with your student, just one question in a daily basis, okay? In order to use that one, click on question and you may ask, did you learn something? You can type anything, okay? And as an answer, you may have two options, short answer and multiple choice, okay? If you click on the short answer, your students will be able to uh, type something as a, their answer. If you want to, put any information regarding your question, you may add info instruction over here. And also you may share some file. For example, you can assign a reading and then you may ask just one question, specific question for your students, okay? Let's put the file over there and you can use your uh, file over here. And instead of using let me put here. So after a reading PowerPoint presentation, okay, you are gonna ask, did you learn something? Okay, it's going to be short answer. And on the right panel, you'll be able to identify your classrooms and students as well. As you can see, I have two classrooms right now, PET 101 and PET 102. And you may select both courses. It depends on your selection. But if you select both courses, this question will be shared all students in this classroom, okay? And also you may select all class, all students, or you may differentiate your students as well regarding specifically assign a question for specific students. So I'm gonna just select all students and it's going to be shared just one-on-one, okay? And you may assign. As you can see, I already have two assignment 
category, okay? Assignment and project. I'm gonna show how to create that kind of uh, category. Just selecting one of the category, which is uh, related to the question and points. As you can see, a hundred points, you may change your points over here, okay? Select a hundred. Also, you may assign specific due date for the question. So your students should answer that question by that specific time, okay? And topic, this is going to be my, uh, this topic, okay? I have already created three topic, different topics, material, week of April 13, week of April 20. Since I am going to assign this question for tomorrow, this is going to be related to the week of April 13. So I am selecting a uh, week of April 13. Students can reply to each other. Students can add an answer. In a general sense, you don't need to select can reply to each other, most probably you don't want to, okay? And you can edit answer after uh, submitting, okay? And if you check the, on the top of the right corner, you'll be able to see ask, schedule, and save draft. This is a automatic for all submission button, okay? You can uh, submit that question as soon as possible when you uh, click on ask, and you may schedule the question later. Two days later, you want to appear on the uh, Google Classroom, then you, you may select it, that option. And then three days later, it's going to be Sunday, and you may identify the specific time as well, okay? But I'm not going to use that one. Just click on ask. Then, as you can see, <clears throat> your question appears on the uh, under the week of April 13, as you can see. Okay, click on there, and you'll be able to see. And there is no one turning yet. Two students in my classroom. If you have twenty students, you will be able to see twenty over there. Okay, and. If you click on uh, grades, you will be able to see your student grade as well. But before that, I would like to show you how student site looks like, okay? When you submit any uh, material question assignment, your students will be able to see all, uh, this is going to be 101, it should be 102, okay? then I need to change one or two. If they check their classroom, they will be able to see your announcement at the bottom, at the top of the page, stream page, okay? How you must post a new question. Did you learn something? Then when your students click on the question, they will be able to see whatever you sent them, okay? As you can see here, their answer, over there and when type anything as you can see turn button it becomes active okay and then you can as a student your students can turn in their answer to you okay less also you may you know, students may uh, send any comments related to the question as well, okay? Since this is going to be short answer, okay? Click on there. Then, as you can see, John submitted, okay? If you go back to uh, teacher site, and if you check grades, you'll be able to see the grade of John, your student, who submitted his assignment will active right now. And if you click on three dots over there, you will be able to see submission, okay? As you can see, John turning, okay? The answer, wow, okay? As you can see, there is no grade right now. 
but you may assign any grade, okay? And also you can see other, other students on your classroom, as you can see. Assigned, but didn't submit anything. So when you click on uh, assigning any grade to your students, okay, or you may add some a comment on it regarding the short answer, okay, then you need to click on return button, okay. Also, you may specific a uh, send specific email to the, your student as well. If you click on return, okay, your students will get a hundred point from question. Okay. And if you go back to John site, okay, click on there and then classwork, they need to click on classwork, okay. And click on assignment, it says graded as you can see, okay. And in order to see their grade, they need to click on view your work, okay? If your student click on that link, they will be able to see their grade related to assignment, okay? This is how to see that. And if they have any missing assignment, they will be able to see those assignments on that page as well. They need to click on classwork and then view your work. They will be able to see their grades and missing assignments on the same page, okay? Let me go back to my uh, classroom as a teacher. And as you can see, you need to click on grades, okay? to see your assignment, okay, student assignment. If you click on the grades uh, setting, setting over here, classroom setting, as you can see, there is a gear, gear over there on the right corner, click on there, and you will be able to change anything related to your class details, okay? Name of class, class description, section, number, room number, subject, and also you may uh, change class code, okay? After uh, all students join your classroom, you may change your class code. You may reset it, okay? Or you may disable to prevent any unrelevant students join your classroom, okay? After having all your uh, students in your classroom. And also, students can only comment, only teachers can post and comment. You need to see, most probably, you may not use student can post and comment, okay? This is going to be a little bit difficult for your classroom management. So you may select can only comment or only teachers. Be in online environment, so in my classroom, we would like to have interaction between student, 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 teacher, and student content. So you may select that one as well, but it depends, okay? On the teacher's campus, then that's fine. And show condensed notification, and you may not want to select the show deleted items, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna show how the create the meet link. And then this is going to be place to create your grade uh, categories, okay? Under the grading. I have already create, created the two different categories over here. I would like to enter one more like presentation, a hundred points. You may change these points as well. Okay, this is going to be maximum number they are going to get, but I'm going to put a hundred for each category. Also, you may change, add one more category. Let's say writing, okay, a hundred points. So currently you have four different 
categories. When you assign, uh, create an assignment, an assignment, you have to assign grade categories, okay? For example, if you create a project, then you need to select the project category, okay? This is going to be how you can create the category. In order to do that, and then after saving it, you need to go to the, your main page and you'll be able to see all time. Class settings, and then you need to go to the grading section, okay? And oh, as you can see, there is no rule grade, total points weighted by category. And most probably you are gonna uh, use total points. Also, you may want to use weighted by category, but it is going to be very easy. So I'm gonna use the total points, okay? Show overall grade to students, okay? So your students will be able to see their grades when you make this one on. And this is how to create a grade categories for your students, okay? You can use your grades for your Google Classroom, but you are not required to submit any grade as a final for your students, uh, you know, uh, GPA, but you may use your Google Classroom with some grades. And this kind of uh, setting actually will help your students to participate in your classroom more. Okay. The other thing, assigning. This is going to be last one, assignment material I have already used, but I would like to share again. Let's put some kind of uh, general material for your students. Let's say class presentation for your students all time. They will be able to see and you may provide some kind of information and then select one of the file. You can use your Google Drive file, link, and YouTube file, okay? Let's say YouTube file, class presentation. You may find something, okay, useful for your students in terms of Google presentation. You may search it and then after find presentation good bed, my Google, okay, you may select that one. I don't know what kind of thing inside, but you may need to check it. And then I'm gonna assign all classroom and also do as well. And you need to select the material, okay? Because this is not related to the each trick. This is related to the whole classroom. So you may select the material, okay? And then when you click on the post, your students will be able to see your post, okay? As you can see, new material, and they may check classwork, and they will be able to class presentation under the material topic, okay? If they click on the material link, they will be able to see uh, YouTube video, okay? Let me go back and create assignment. This is going to be easy way to create the assignment. I'm gonna create, uh, let's say, project one, research, let's say, pro research project. Okay, you may provide more information here and then Add some kind of, okay, my drive. Let me put, okay, pet assignment. I have created, yeah, pet assignment. So I'm gonna use my Google Word document, okay. So if you see here, student can view file, 
students can edit file and make a copy for each students, okay? You need to select that one. So Google Classroom automatically change the name of the uh, document, whatever document you have already sent, okay? Or shared with your students, okay? It can be any slide, it can be any spreadsheet, it can be any Google Docs, doesn't matter. But you need to select that one, so you so your students do not need to change the name of the type, type, okay? Name of the documents. Make it make a copy for each students, okay? I will show how it looks like on the student side, and I'm gonna assign for this just pet 101 classroom and all students. You may differentiate your students as well here, okay? And no category. Currently, by default, there is no category assigned, but it's going to be research project. So I would like to share a project category, okay? And then points, 100 points, you may assign, okay? Some specific date to submit, okay? And topic. This is going to be next week assignment, okay? It takes time, so a week of April 20. And also you may uh, select some kind of, uh, create some kind of rubric for your students, okay? So I'm gonna show that later, okay? Also you, this is going to be research project. And if you click on the original your reports, okay, Google, will search your students' uh, document on the web to uh, detect any, you know, plagiarism issues. So you may select that kind of thing, okay? But I'm not going to select that one right now, but you may select that one. And then I'm gonna assign, not schedule, okay, right now. Let's check student site. Okay. Going uh, student site here. Okay. A research project has already been posted as a new assignment. And if you click on the classwork, you'll be able to see that assignment under week of, uh, oops. We selected the other one, sorry about that. So it's going to be under a week of April 13. We created that uh, document for the, yes, there's something wrong. And then if you click on here, you'll be able to see your site, okay? Research project. And this is going to have to looks like zero turning and two students in your classroom. So you will be able to see your, let me check out again. Okay. If they click on the assignment, they will be able to see what kind of assignment they have. As you can see, the name of uh, Google Docs automatically changed. The name of students added, was added to title of the Google Docs. So your students do not want to change anything regarding the type of students. And you will be able to see the, the documents and who put in, and who submitted that document to you, okay? And if they click on that, you need to provide that kind of instruction to your student, okay? And this is going to be your student assignment. They may add something, okay? So there is a integration between Google Classroom, Google products. So don't worry about that. And then when your students enter everything related to the submission, okay? When your student is done with their uh, assignment, they need to just click on the turning, okay? Then your student is done, okay? And as a teacher, let me check if my students submitted any assignment, okay? And click on grades. And 
as you can see, John Doe over there and click on here, view submission. I will be able to see my student work, okay? You don't need to download or saving something, okay? And if you want to provide some kind of feedback, you may select these options over there and you may play with these items, okay? So spelling grammar check, you would like to share. And also, as you can see, you can create your own command bank. Instead of typing any same thing for each student, you may create your own command bank and then you select, let's select one of them, adding bank, good job, okay. Add, and one more, well done. So you need to be careful with typing. And one more. Nice. You may add more word, okay? This is going to be three comments you have already created and you will be able to see all these comments, okay? In terms of grading, also you will be able to add any uh, any feedback if you would like to see, okay? You may add some kind of things. For example, let me type this one, copy. And put the end of two. And you may change the color and you will play this text, okay? And your student will be able to see your, uh, as you can see, your comments on your on their uh, files, okay? And I'm gonna assign 80, okay? This is going to be John, and you will be able to see other students as well. As you can see, Sandra, okay, she didn't uh, submit her assignment. As you can see, it's assigned. If you check John, you'll be able to see John assignment is here. And you may add more. Uh, wow. And then click on that one. And let's look at this. And in order to uh, submit your uh, grading, you need to click on return button and you may select, okay. If you are done with your classroom, if you have more students and you may complete the grading and then return multiple submission, okay. You can select after you are done with the grading. But current I am doing just one student's grading, so return this one and then click on that. Your student will be able to see ATs on their site. Okay. Let me go back to John website. Okay. And he needs to click on classwork and also click on view. And he will be able to see his uh, grade. And if they check the assignment, he will be able to see my feedback on it, okay? As you can see, this is the kind of the annotation you may want to use, okay? This is how to create. Also, I would like to share uh, some information regarding how to create the rubric, and then I'm gonna end today's session, okay? Let me go back to my class as a teacher i am here and in order to create an as an assignment you need to click on classwork first okay and then create another assignment let's say 
head presentation, okay. Information here. And then you may select your file. Okay, this is going to be pet assignment. Okay. And you need to click on make a copy for each student. And you are going to select your teach, uh, classroom and students. And this is going to be presentation. I have already created. If you assign more than one presentation, you may need to create a category. Okay, under it. To do tomorrow topic is going to be this week. Okay, um, if you create the rubric, you will be able to uh, communicate what requirement is necessary for the presentation or assignment. So it's going to be uh, showing what expected uh, from the assignment so students will be understand what the requirements are. Click on that. I'm gonna create a rubric, okay. And at the same time, I would like to open the my previous one. So instead of typing new, I would like to, yes. This is going to be my, yes. Let's go back, okay. This is a criterion title. Most probably <coughs> there will be some kind of uh, criteria for your like connections. You may add some description here and you may assign something, okay? For example, not yet, okay? You may add the description here, let's say, is going to be description regarding the assignment, okay? And this is going to be your first criterion regarding connection. And you may add more points. Let's assign second, okay? This is going to be almost there, okay? and you may provide the requirement for your students. And this is going to be third one and uh, let's say, and you are gonna create description. Okay. This is going to be just for one uh, criterion. Okay. Let me add second criterion. Click on the add, add criterion button over there. This is going to be visuals. And I would like to share how it looks like. The first point, not yet. It should be same, okay. And put the description over here. Okay, second, almost there. And put another one and the third one is going to be three the title great and you are going to expectation here so you, your students will understand what kind of expectation you, they need to meet okay the third one format of delivery you may create your own uh, rubric, okay? And you may use some rubrics on the web, doesn't matter, as long as it meets your needs. And second, almost there. And let me put that as a criterion if I want. And third is going to be great. It takes time actually, but if you have 
some kind of spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet, then you may import that spreadsheet. Then I am done. Current, I have three different uh, criteria for my rubric and the total point is going to be nine. Okay. Let me put, click on save when you are done. And your students will be able to see. And then when you are done your rubric, assign it. I would like to show how it looks like in terms of student perspective. Okay. This is going to be classwork for your class. And you'll be able to see. You have already assigned pet presentation. Okay. Let's look at the John's website, Google Classroom website. And as you can see, class presentation submitted. Okay. So your students will be able to see their assignment if they click on the classroom, classwork. And they will be able to see presentation assignment under the week of April 13, okay? Any submission will be posted on stream page. So your students should uh, check the stream first. They will be able to see your new announcement over there regarding your uh, course announcement or new uh, assignment announcement as well, okay? And they may need to click on here or they go to the classwork and then click on the same thing will be happen, okay? And as you can see, your students will be able to see Google. This is going to be assignment. And pet assignment, some information about topic. And also you can use that kind of slide and you can ask some uh, specific question, okay? You may create that kind of slide for your students and you may ask specific questions related to the assignment is slide, okay, presentation, and your students enter their, okay? And their answer, my answer. my answer so when your students are done with the presentation okay <clears throat> they will be able to as you can see the title is automatically changed so they need to do anything right now and if they click on the criteria rubric they will be able to see the expectation from the assignment as you can see and if you if they want to get full points they need to be meet these areas okay and let me go back as a teacher okay and great presentation google a john has already submitted okay john website as you can see, my answer, my answer to your student enter their answer. And after checking his assignment, I'm gonna use my rubric over here, okay? For example, okay, your answer depends on here. I just want to show how to use your rubric, okay? I don't want to assign any specific grade it's probably here and if you use create a rubric your grade will be automatically assigned okay based on the rubric uh, criteria okay so don't worry about the grade and if you are done you may add some type of specific comments let's say well nice okay Okay, you may select this one or you may add that one. Okay, at the back bottom of the page. So that. And then 
click on past and then you have to click on the return in order to have your students see your grade okay let's check your students site okay Big genres. Okay, change. I'm trying to find my John. Okay, John, John, yes. I need to click on that. Yes. Takes time because I'm using a lot of. Okay, Google Classroom, go to Google Classroom. So click on here. Not me, John. Okay. If John check his site and click on view your work, he will be able to see is great regarding pet presentation, okay? And if he clicks on the, over here, they will be able to see details, okay? And what else? With details. And he understand what he missed regarding the assignment and rubric and you assign these grades based on your rubric and he understands what he missed, okay, regarding his presentation, okay? This is how it looks like, your presentation uh, assignment. And today's, actually we have already, let's see, it's 50 minutes, so, Today's class, I'm gonna end in here. We end in here. And if you have any question, please use question and answer section. I will try to uh, answer your question. And I'm gonna stop the recording right now and I'll try to answer your question after that, okay? See you next week then. Bye. Let me check your questions. Okay, is it possible to get a good recording? Yes, you will get. This is here, okay. Video guys, okay. However, however, let me check, okay. This is the second day in offline Google Classroom, no. How are you to let to join yourself as a student? Uh, there is no way to your student's uh, site because you don't have access. Your student's a website this is confidential. I've created two different students and I am using that, those two accounts. So I am able to see student's site. Actually, I am trying to show how your student's site looks like, okay? But you cannot see your student's website. I downloaded the Google Classroom app from the store and on my dashboard, no great option. That should be actually. And make sure you are assigned G Suite Education. Assignment anything like paper based assignment, you can uh, convert that assignment your uh, digitized after digitizing it. And any project and the reading can be defined in assignment. Assignment quiz is going to be just quiz, okay? Using the Google Forms and I will show that later. Assignment is a general topic, okay? So 
So you may create several of assignments under the assignment option. What about grading for group work? Okay, as I show you, you can assign your assignment to specific groups, okay? Students, students, and you may group your students and based on their assignment, you can assign. I can snatch the assignment such as what to be. Okay, nice question. They will be able to attach. I will show later, okay? Next session. Yeah, there is a problem in terms of the analytic, okay? Actually, Google provides that kind of analytic, how many students, you know, use your website and classroom spend time. But your system admin needs to uh, uh, set up the setting, okay? For your school or your school district. Since you are not, most probably not a, a admin, you will not be able to use that option. But after changing some, let me show that part if I have it here. Yes, most probably you will be able to see that. And as you can see, open your account activity report, your current account, for example, myself, I am talking about, doesn't have permission to do these steps to continue switch an administrator account, okay? When you uh, switch the admin account, you will be able to see the reports, okay? Account activities reports. If we add a PowerPoint prepared by someone else other than teacher, will it be plagiarism? If it is not an educational purpose, yes. But even there, there are some platforms teachers are actually are selling, okay? But if they put for the general purpose, you can use them. When we want to have the final grade by giving certain percentage to each category, do we have to choose weighted by category? Yes, yes. But total is going to be a hundred something. I have to leave, uh, I don't know, actually other departments come. Checking that kind of activities. I don't know when they are going to send the link of the video. The video link will be shared with you, but I don't know when, okay? Yeah, the certification actually, digital certification will be issued. If you check the bootcamp website, okay, let me show you. Bootcamp.na.edu, participation in all classes, of course, are required to receive a digital certificate. So you need to participate in live sessions, okay? Then they will issue a digital certificate for you based on your statistics. About G Suite in case I want to create a class or certain school, how it works. Actually, I'm talking about the G Suite, so education, can you leave us the link? Okay. Class class app has a different format, mobile I'm using. And let me show actually my how it looks like. 
I will share my iPhone if possible. It says, but where is it? Face sharing, but I don't know. Are you able to see? No, I don't think so.